If you watched last week's episode, you know that all month I am mixing three cocktails that I am most thankful for. And if you didn't watch last week's episode, maybe you should look inward. There's a chance you may not be ready for the Thanksgiving season after all. A heart filled with true caring and compassion would understand all the love and grace that I pour into each week's episode and would be thankful for the opportunity to learn from the master. But there's still time to change. It doesn't matter who you were last week or last month or even last year. You can be whoever you want today. So mash that subscribe button and start your season off on the right foot. So that now that we got your life in order, now it's time to deal with mine. Mrs. Sir Ricky Bobby just broke the news that her family is coming for Thanksgiving. And all of a sudden, I feel like my thanks tank is running on fumes. I think we should pull over and fill up with a victory shot. Redemption? Everybody needs redemption. The recipe for a lion's tail first appeared in a book in the 1930s, but most people think it was created during Prohibition. It uses an allspice dram, which is an essential ingredient when you're trying to capture autumn in a glass. Sadly, dram was forgotten about in the mid 20th century. It didn't really come back to most bars until just recently. Personally, I am thankful it's back. A half ounce of lime juice to a cocktail shaker. Half ounce of simple syrup, but I'm gonna use a cinnamon simple syrup. Half ounce of my homemade allspice dram. Two ounces of a bourbon. But first, we have to have ourselves a shot. Wow, turkey. Turkey, Thanksgiving. Wow, I couldn't have planned that any better. That is one of my most thankful fall drinks, the lion's tail. This week's word of wisdom is misrepresentation. For many people, the holiday season is like religion, not just because of old traditions, but because many people wear their church smiles when visiting their family members' homes. Now on the car ride over. They're complaining about how miserable the day will be and how much they would rather go home. But when they arrive, it is nothing but fake smiles, big hugs, and lying through teeth. Oh, it's so good to see you guys. I love you. We should do this more often. But of course, you truly don't hope to see them again till next year. And you're hoping to fake an injury and go home.
And if you're lucky enough, that injury will last long enough to get you through Christmas. Now, this sounds like a misrepresentation to me. If you're happy, then smile. And irritated, then frown. Our faces are like Halloween costumes. They don't show the real thing. You may be dressed like Batman, but no one really thinks you are. You're wearing the Cape Crusader's cape. But we all realize you're just a middle-aged accountant. Basically, your lies fool no one. So, just be yourself. Okay.